So we began our research into what makes a difference to whole system reform by asking our teachers. We looked at uh, schools in ch challenging circumstances and we found that uh, there were 17 schools who had a literacy coach and uh, reading recovery implementation. And of those 17 very large and busy schools, there were nine of them that were moving ahead towards the northeast of the grid and doing very well. And we wanted to know, Michael Fullen and I wanted to know, what it was that the teachers and leaders in those schools were doing that other schools weren't and weren't doing so well, even though they were all in challenging circumstances. So we found that um, those schools were focusing on areas that made a difference to all students' achievement. Even though uh, chaos was happening all over around them, they were able to stay the course. So when I interviewed the teachers and the leaders, so the reading recovery teachers and the, and the literacy coaches, uh, the principals, vice principals and, and teachers, um, special needs teachers, uh, asked, what are you doing at this school that's making a difference for all students' achievement? And they told me there were 14 areas. Michael and I in our books have called these areas the 14 parameters and we've looked at how we can move the parameters through modeled, shared, guided and independent to really embrace interdependent practitioners. So one of the parameters was the case management approach. Teachers told us that when there were data walls with students' faces on them and they could see who all the students were and how they were doing, it made a difference to them. They also said that the other part of the case management approach, having a meeting to go to when they were stuck in terms of instructing all students, that made a difference to them. So parameter six is called the case management approach, having two prongs, data walls and the case management meeting. Now our teachers also tell us that having the data walls allows them to look at all the students and think about which of the students really need to come to a case management meeting and really have folks sitting around the table to focus on the face through the student work to look at strategies in terms of assessment instruction that may move that student forward. Teachers have an opportunity to listen to the recommendations and then come back in two to three weeks having tried these suggestions and let the team know how it's going, whether they need further assistance or not. So the other way we use data walls is to look at data walls in terms of uh, teachers saying, and having rich conversations about where students are at both ends of the data wall and also students in the middle who are stuck and not moving. So it's a very, um, it's a very excellent approach to recognize all the faces at the needs of the students and also the needs of the teachers. Teachers also have said that sometimes they're just able to go to leaders uh, and, and that's the principal and the AP and say, I'm really stuck with a student. I'm not sure how to bring this student to the next level. So could we have a meeting so that you would support me in my work? For me that's significant because so often teaching is such a lonely, isolating profession and it's when we collaborate in a structured approach that we make a difference for all of our students. We know our students and we care about all of them achieving right across our school, right across our diocese.